Okay, so here we are in another job today. For this one, we're going to be cleaning the tumbled marble floor with our high pressure steam machine. As you can see, it's very dirty. We're also going to be cleaning the surround of the tub and its backsplash, the shower stall, and we're going to be cutting out and replacing some cracked out grout lines. You could clean a floor without a big machine like this, but the results aren't going to be as good. Uh, this is a high pressure steam unit, has a vacuum, pressure washer, and a hot water heater. Protect the walls and trim with plastic and tape, and then use your pole brush to get the soap into the hard to reach areas. We're using a commercial grade stone soap, a high pH cleaner, and a small floor machine with an 18 inch soft black bristle brush. If you can't get your hands on one of these high pressure steam units, uh, just use a wet vac with a long handle wand and a squeegee attachment. So check this part out, it's pretty satisfying. You can see right in front of the head of the wand, there's a ton of grime. You go pass over it with the high pressure steam, pull it back, and just look at that. It sucks it right out, cleans it, looks so much better.
This part's pretty cool because you can see how dirty the inside of the closet is, which is actually pretty funny because before we cleaned the main part of the floor, the closet actually looked better by comparison. Uh, but now that everything's clean on the main floor, you can just see how dirty it really was. Definitely get one of these powered spools if you can. Uh, it makes wrapping up the hoses so much easier. Here you can see Nick cutting out the, the corner grout joint. Um, he's using a fine supercut and uh, just holding the vacuum to suck up all the, the silica dust. Um, should probably wear a respirator for this or some kind of particle mask. Definitely wear ear protection. Uh, if you don't have a super cut, uh, you could just get any type of oscillating tool with a, a diamond grout bit um, or grout blade. They all work pretty much the same. We cut out the perimeter joint around the bottom of the shower, both verticals in the back going up, and anywhere else it needed to be replaced and now Nick's regrouting. Now that the floor is clean, we put some air movers on it and let it dry for a couple hours so that it'll be ready for sealing. For this floor, we're using a solvent-based impregnator sealer. We're doing two liberal coats. This will repel water and make it easier to clean. Like most sealers, this one needs to be buffed to a dry finish. I'm using some cotton and microfiber towels. And that's it, job's done. Floor came out amazing. It practically looks brand new. The cracked grout has been replaced and the homeowner was really happy. Here are some before and afters.